Welcome back, everybody. I hope you've all had a, a wonderful Pesach and you were able to taste some aspects of freedom. This week's Joy of Gratitude has been sponsored as a merit for a for Shalema, a complete recovery for Chaya Shoshana Fega Bastavara. So I had a thought over Pesach and I want to I want to share it with you. We say many blessings every day and I I connect to many of them in different ways. But there's one blessing that conjures up in me another level of emotion. And that is the blessing of Shechianu. This is a blessing that we say um, at certain times when we get to fulfill a mitzvah that only comes around occasionally, or when we eat a fruit for the first time that year, or if we get new clothes. It's a blessing of tremendous joy and excitement. Now, the, the first time I connected to this blessing um, was um, as I was when I was growing up in my uh, in my hometown. There was a uh, a man there who was larger than life. His name um, was Yol Silver. He had a massive ginger beard and he was very loud and we used to every sukkah we used to do a sukkah call where we would go from sukkah to sukkah um, as children um, in in the in the in the wider neighborhood and the sukkah we all looked forward to going to was was Yarl Silver's sukkah we knew the food would be great but more than that there was a song he sang with us every single year Every single year he would sing and with, with excitement and jumping up and down, he'd get all the kids singing this, this song of this particular blessing. So I've always connected to this. Unfortunately, Yol Silver passed away this week. So uh, may this, uh, this, may this share be a, uh, a merit to him too. As I grew older, it went beyond the song. I connected to the words of this song, of this, of this blessing. And the words are truly amazing. Let's just translate it. Baruch atah Hashem, Elokeinu Melech HaOlam, Blessed are you, Hashem, our God, King of the universe, Shechianu, who has kept us alive, Viki Imanu, and who has sustained us, Vihigianu, and has brought us, Lazman Hazet, to this time. Now, as I sat down on the Seder night just gone, and I said this blessing, which we say at, in Kadesh as we're holding the, the cup of wine, I was filled with an intense feeling of gratitude. You know, Corona's been around for more than a year. I know that there are many people who are not around anymore. But Hashem has decided, for whatever reason, that I should be, and he has kept me alive. And for that, I am extremely grateful. I'm still alive after this whole year with all its turbulence and its, all its uncertainty. But I think it's more than just I'm alive. And I think if we look at those words of the blessing, we can see something a lot deeper. First of all, we thank Hashem that we're alive, Sheikh Yanu, that he has kept us alive. But, but if, if all he'd done was kept us alive, I mean, obviously, we want to thank for that. But don't we want our life to be so much more than just being alive? It's not really a tremendous accomplishment if I'm just alive. I don't just want to be alive. I want to live. I want to achieve. I want to accomplish. So we say, Vikiyamanu. The root word of Vikiyamanu means come. Come means to get up, to stand up. He has, he has stood us on our own two feet. He's given us opportunities to make a difference in this world. That's Viki Imanu. Sheikh Yanu has kept us alive. Viki Imanu, he's made us stand up so that we can achieve. He's given us traits and abilities so that we can put our fingerprint on this world and change it. Viki Imanu, and not only that, he has helped us reach it. He's helped us reach some of, our, some of our goals. He's helped us reach some of the things we've been trying to achieve. What a blessing that is. Not just thank you for the fact that I'm alive, but thank you that you've given me a purpose. You've given me abilities 
and thank you for holding my hand while I fulfilled some of those things I've been trying to fulfill. So I was thinking, sitting there at Seder night, during this year, what is it when I look back? Yes, there's been a lot of suffering and a lot of pain. And as I said, there's a lot of people who aren't here. But during this particular year, what have I got to be thankful for where Hashem has not only given me life, but given me a message, given me something to achieve and has helped me achieve it? I gave it some thought. And this is what came to my mind. One of the things that I have achieved this year is a deeper understanding of the fact that I am not in charge. I'm, I'm not in charge. I, I used to be an optometrist. I, I still am. I, I'm a qualified optometrist, but I haven't been able to work for more than a year. I'm not in charge. And then he decides to give me a job as a teacher. Well, that came out of the blue. I'm just not in charge. I want to be able to go here and there. And what about all the flights that I booked? And what about all the other things I've arranged? I'm not in charge. And, I, and something really interesting happened to me, happened to me a couple of weeks ago. I was, um, I live at, in a cul-de-sac at the end of a, a road and if a truck, a large lorry, a truck is in the road, you can sometimes be stuck behind that lorry and there's no way out for like 10 minutes, 20 minutes until the lorry decides to, uh, to move on. I was popping home for about half an hour and then I had to go out to teach again. And I thought to myself, do you know what? If you park in this road, the chances are you're going to get blocked. And you've got to leave very, very soon. So instead of parking in the road, I parked in a higher part of the road, which you can normally escape from. It's not, a, it's not normally blocked. When I got back to my car, there was a truck blocking my car in the other place. And I turned to Hashem, I said, okay, fine, I get the message. I understand exactly what's going on. I was beginning to think that I'm in control again. And you reminded me that I'm not. Now, why do I think that that is actually a very positive thing? I know that there are many people who are extremely stressed by this. But I've realized that this is a really positive realization, a really positive viewpoint. Because if I think I'm in charge, then everything rests on me. If I think I'm in charge, then I've got so much to worry about. But if I realize that actually I'm not in charge, it's just up to me to do the best I can. And then Hashem will decide everything else. What that does is it actually gives you a feeling of freedom. And that's what we've just had in Pesach. This concept of freedom, of being free, free from your own self-slavery. So that is what I've gained this year. And I'm grateful for it. And it's what I was thinking when I said this particular blessing. I encourage all of you to think back over this past year through all the suffering and all the pain and all the difficulty. Find one thing that you can say, this is what I've gained from this year. And I'm going to hold that feeling. I'm going to make sure I hold on to it, that knowledge or that thing that I've gained. I'm going to allow it to change my life moving forward and I'm going to be grateful for it. Thank you so much for joining. I hope to see you next week. If anybody wants to sponsor a future, a future episode, please be in touch.